Good morning, good afternoon or good evening, wherever you might be watching. I'd like to show you how to create a form with fields that can be completed in Microsoft Word. I've listed the procedures that we need to follow down here and you'll notice that uh, I've created some, <coughs> some labels here and we're going to insert fields into this table so that we can enter data and then uh, save the file so that the form can be uh, reopened at any time and we will see the data that has been entered. We'll also see that after I create the fields themselves before I enter data I'll save the file so that when I reopen the file it will open with empty fields so that I can uh, uh, add different data uh, the next time around. So the first thing I need to do is to add the developer tab to the ribbon down here in the first procedure. Now you'll notice at the moment that there is no developer tab up here so in this version of Word I'm going to click the uh, office button up the top there then go down to Word Options and in the popular category I'll put a tick in Show Developer tab in the ribbon and when I click OK there is the developer tab now when I click on the developer tab <coughs> I see there is a group here called controls and in the controls group I see these buttons here and these are the buttons that I use to create the fields just to run through them the double A in, in bold mode is a rich text field which means that the data can be formatted once it's entered. This uh, text field here uh, is just plain text that cannot be formatted. Here I could uh, enter a picture if I wished. Uh, I could also uh, create a combo box. Uh, we'll see how that works and uh, particularly I'll show you how to create a drop down list and a date picker here. This little button here, uh, a building block gallery, uh, we'll discuss in a later video upload. But at the moment, I, what I want to do is to click in the uh, uh, row in this particular table, and you'll notice that I've created a table because it seems to give the, uh, uh, the form itself uh, a nice neat appearance, everything lines up as it were. You can if you wish uh, after you've created the uh, uh, the form you can hide the the uh, uh, the borders in that table if you wish and I'll show you how to do that shortly. But first of all I want to add this field here, the rich text field, for the names and when I do that it enters that particular control into the table. The date of birth I'm going to enter a date picker. Now just to comment on the date picker, the date pickers are great where you're using reasonably current dates but if you want to uh, uh, add something uh, for dates which occurred years and years and years ago then the date picker is perhaps not the best way to do it, Just you would just need to type the date in. The place of birth, <coughs> the, next, the next field, I'll add another uh, rich text field there. Uh, the weight at, at birth uh, will add another rich text field and the eyes I want to choose from we'll say three colors so what I'm going to do here is to insert a drop down list and when I insert a drop down list I have to tell Word what are the properties that I want in that drop down list so I click on properties uh, a title is optional um, I could use a style to format the contents, we won't bother about this at this stage. Um, I don't want anybody to remove the content control so I'm going to put a tick in there uh, but I'll leave the contents cannot be edited unticked because somebody might like to change the colour of, um, of perhaps the uh, eye colour. Now to add the items to the drop down list I click add and the first colour I'll say brown and OK I'll add another one we'll say blue OK and one for luck we'll say green 
and there we go now I'll click OK now the next thing I have to do after adding the fields as I've done from the controls group I then will save this file with an appropriate name for example field data entry document and I'm going to put it on the Windows desktop here so I'll click on there save as a word document and I'm going to put it onto the Windows desktop and I'll call it um, uh, I'll just call it field data entry that'll do us but before I uh, and I'll click save now what I also need to do I've, I've got my uh, document on the desktop with all the fields but what I need to do is to protect the document and when I protect the document I see over on the right hand side here the restrict formatting panel pops up and I need to allow only certain types of editing in the documents and all I want on this document to happen is for the form to be filled in the drop arrow gives me other uh, options um, but I'm, I'm going to click filling in forms now as soon as I've done that I then start enforcing protection and I'm asked to enter a password if I do it means that uh, other people can't open the uh, open the file to change without knowing the password so I'll type in all lowercase password confirm the password nice and easy and click OK and then I save that document again OK now I'm ready to enter text so when I click here to enter text uh, we'll say this is uh, for family members for example of course it could be for commercial purposes office use etc but uh, I'm going to say the the new bub is Billy uh, the date of whoops the date of birth when I click down here when I click the drop arrow there's a date picker Billy was born on the 1st of November uh, he was born we'll say in New York even though I'm an Australian uh, the weight of birth will say he was six pounds and the eyes when I click here I see a drop arrow which means I can choose his eye color and I'll say he was born with blue eyes now there is my there is my form uh, with all the data and I'm going to save this form as a word document put it onto the desktop again and I'm going to call it Billy and save now whenever I reopen the form or the document Billy that is what I will see so I'm just going to close this file and you'll remember that I saved the document the blank document as field data entry so whenever I reopen it it will reopen waiting for you to complete other data as opposed to Billy when I reopen Billy there is all the information for Billy so that's how you can create a form